about supporting the locals here on River City Live and keeping with that theme, we've heard about the benefits of eating local honey. And so it helps with your allergies and other things, but there's no pure scientific evidence to prove that, but there's no denying it sure is tasty. And of course, I had to find out about it myself. A few weeks ago, I spent some time with Lisa Broward, bonding with her beehives over in Springfield. Recently, I rolled up to her Karma Acres farm to check out how honey is extracted from the comb. Welcome to Karma Acres farm, and we're glad to have you back today. Um, this is the happy day for the beekeeper's life. Um, we've kept bees all year, all summer, and now we're getting ready to extract honey, which is the, the most exciting thing we can do as beekeepers. While a bee suit isn't required for this part of the process, it's still sweat-inducing work. Trust. One thing about um, extracting honey, you always have to do it on a hot day. It uh, seems like everything you do in beekeeping is when it's hot. We harvest honey um, usually in July or the end of June, 1st of July, and it's hot then. And for honey to flow, you have to have a warm room. You, you can't do this in air conditioning because honey won't flow from the comb into your extractor. This is a frame of capped honey. Um, the bees collect nectar, and then they make wax coverings or cappings over each of the cells. These are the cells at the bottom, but this is a completely capped frame. And in order to extract the honey, you have to break those cappings down. Now one could extract using the old school method, but depending on the number of cones, it could take days. With new technology... This is a six frame extractor for six medium frames. Um, it takes about 15 minutes to do six frames. We're ready now to turn on the extractor. It might get a little loud, but... So you turn it on and you don't start out... Start out kind of slow. And centrifugal force forces the honey to the outside where it flows down and into the bucket. Okay. Reminiscent of my youth drinking water from a garden hose, I'm trying honey straight from the tap. Better than store bot, that's for sure. After the honey has been extracted, cleanup is left to Mother Nature. But yeah, this is how it should look when you're done. It's still wet, but it's uh, all the honey has been extracted. But what you do is you put this outside and the bees will clean it. They clean it down to the dry wax. Lisa shares how beekeeping and honey extraction is a communal affair. For a lot of people, it'll help you. The beekeeping community is a very tight-knit bunch, and um, we help each other because we always like to say, um, I don't view people that keep bees as competition because it's such a, a difficult endeavor that uh, we really need each other and we really have to help each other just for survival as a beekeeper. Most counties have beekeeper associations. Jacksonville has the Jacksonville Beekeepers Association. Um, Nassau County has the Nassau County Beekeepers Club. And St. John's County has a group. Clay County has a group. So there's usually one near you that you can join. And the, the folks that are there are always happy to help you. You'll learn a tremendous amount from them. And um, you'll have a lot of camaraderie and a lot of fun at the same time. So. The reward of fresh honey, homemade biscuits, and lemonade make the process all worthwhile. I'm Rance Adams, feeling the bee buzz for River City Live. A fun field trip. Oh, yeah. It was so good. Was it good? Did, oh, can yeah. you tell the difference between that and store-bought? Oh, yeah. And so what was also interesting is while I was there, I learned that natural honey takes on the flavor of whatever region it's found and created. Oh. So she brought out something from Croatia, and it tasted like lavender and rosemary, and it was you just mind blown. Yeah, I said it. As usual. I did. Yeah. <laughs> so Karma Acres Farm spreads their honey all over, so you can find it at many of the local farmers markets and fairs. And you can also find them online if you would like to order and have it shipped directly to you. So visit RiverCityLiveTV.com. Click on the As Seen on RCL tab to find out more. Don't go away. We'll be right back.